Postpartum bleeding naturally occurs in all women after giving birth, and it can last for as long as 6 to 8 weeks. Afterwards, the normal menstrual cycle should resume, but only if the mother is not breastfeeding or taking hormonal contraception. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell when postpartum bleeding has ended and normal menstruation has begun. However, there are several telltale signs you can watch out for. 1. Note the timing. The timing that periods resume with breastfeeding is often completely dependent on how long you breastfeed. If you only breastfeed for three months, your periods will likely return a few weeks after stopping, or if you breastfeed for 18 months, you may not have a period for this entire time. Postpartum bleeding, on the other hand, starts almost immediately after the childbirth and can last between six to eight weeks before tapering off. Breastfeeding can delay menstruation, as it triggers the body to release the prolactin hormones, which keeps the progesterone and estrogen levels low. Even if a woman decides not to breastfeed, she will not stop menstruating for a couple of weeks after childbirth. Approximately 70% of women have their normal menstrual period roughly 6 to 12 weeks after giving birth. The period should only last for 3 to 6 days. 2. Examine the color. The color of the blood will be slightly different with postpartum bleeding than with menstruation, so it's important take note of this. With postpartum bleeding, the color of the blood appears bright red for the first three days. Then from day 4 to 10, the discharge changes its color, from pinkish red, to reddish brownish, with varying components such as old blood, white blood cells and tissue debris. After day 10, a whitish discharge may be observed. This discharge consists of leukocytes, mucus, and epithelial cells. Although menstrual blood may also start as bright red, the color will change to dark red, black or brown towards the end of menstruation. 3. Note the blood flow. The flow of blood is heavier in postpartum bleeding than in menstruation. In general, postpartum bleeding will be heavy for the first four days, then will gradually reduce in quantity over the next few days. If you are saturating a superpad, each hour for at least three hours, or having blood clots bigger than a golf ball, after the first two to three days, call your doctor right away. With menstruation, blood flow is also heaviest in the first three to four days, however the average blood loss is only 10 milliliters to 80 milliliters. An easy way to account for the amount of blood is to know that one tampon holds about 5 milliliters of blood. So, you can count the number of tampons you use and multiply that number by 5 to determine the total blood flow in milliliters. 4. Identify postpartum hemorrhage. You may experience something called postpartum hemorrhage, which occurs in about 1 in 100 to 5 in 100 women. Postpartum hemorrhage is different from postpartum bleeding and requires immediate medical attention. Postpartum hemorrhage may be caused by pieces of the placenta remaining attached, tear in the cervix or other tissues, or a blood clotting disorder. If not treated, this can lead to shock, which can be fatal. Signs of postpartum hemorrhage include Vaginal bleeding that soaks, more than one pad per hour, over a period of two hours, or a return of bright red bleeding, with or without clots, after vaginal discharge has become lighter, or turn brown in color. Decreased blood pressure Increased heart rate Decrease in the red blood cell count, 